Hello there, I'm Dominic St. Pierre. I will quickly show you how you can add the live chat starter kit to uh, an ASP.NET project. I'm going to create a blank ASP.NET MVC project and removing the authentication feature. The first thing that you will want to do is install the live chat starter kit. So in a package management console, simply type install package LCSK and it will bring all the dependencies and create the LCSK folder. In that folder, you can read the readme file and get the JavaScript line that are needed to display the visitor chat box. So normally, everywhere on your website that you will want to see the chat box, you have to include those lines. You might have noticed that the version that came with the live chat subject kit is uh, singular 2.0.1, but when we install the package via the package management console, it was 2.0.2. So I'm, uh, you know, trying as hard as I can to keep the LCSK in sync with the Microsoft singular project, but you might have to change some reference manually even though it's working because those versions are backward compatible. So for now, there is no problem. The first thing that you need to do is go to the install.html file in the LCSK folder. From there, you will have to set an administrative password and an agent password. All of your agent will use any name and that password to log in. manage the application and answer chat. You can go to lcsk slash agent.html and sign in with any name and the agent password. So from there, you will see all of the real-time visitor on the, on the website and the chat request will be displayed on the left. So now I'm going to simulate a visitor by going to another browser. We can set ourselves online and offline and the visitor will automatically see the changes. So no need to refresh the pages or anything. The status will always be real time. And if there's multiple agent, as long as there's at least one agent online, the status will be online. Let's try to create a chat session. So now the agent received the sound indicator and by going to his uh, agent panel, we are able to click on the chat request and start communicating with the visitor. When a visitor change pages, there will be a mention in the chat session telling you uh, what page the visitor is currently viewing. So this is a great way to follow the path of a visitor. There's this uh, slash list comment and you can create a comment with a phrase. So now I'm going to create this H comment. So I'm typing slash add h with a value if i return to the slash list i'm going to see my newly added comment and if i type slash h it will send out the value to the visitor so this is a great way to save oftenly used phrases so there's this edit comment and also the slash del comment to remove the the comment. So if I return to slash list again, the comment is gone. Now I'm going to simulate a, a second visitor from a Firefox browser. Instead of starting the chat session from the visitor point of view, I will uh, now engage the visitor via the 
real time visit panel. So the visitor have the choice to continue the conversation or just close the chat box itself. So I'm going to answer this, this thing and you will see how a multiple chat session will appear on the agent panel. Two conversation on the left and I can easily switch from one to another. And also there's this number indicating me when there's a new activities in a chat session. Now I'm going to close those two and the visitor will receive a message. All the configuration is done via the chat.js file so there's a couple of visual aspect and text that you can change from here you might look at the chathub.cs file for more uh, more configuration there's a couple of text here as well So I hope you find the installation quick and easy. Do not hesitate to leave your feedback. Thanks.